Hello everyone, this is Nina with Waffle Flower, and we're excited to have our product designer Galina here. Hello everyone. From Poland. In this video, we're going to feature the very popular postage clutch collection designed by Galina. I'm so excited to show you my products and talk about them more. First of all, we want to talk about the inspiration that lead to this collection. Yeah, so first of all, I want to say thank you for my husband because he's a stamp collector. I was seeing a lot of vintage stamps in beautiful albums, so I decided why not to make something for myself too? That's how the panel of stamps came into mind. Yes, because uh, the vintage stamps, there was like more than 10 of stamps in one panel and it was super inspired because mm. all of them has different images. Mm. Vintage stamps was your inspiration? Yes, most of them. So uh, when I buy stamps right now, they all come on, they still come in kind of sheet but they are all the same. You mean the vintage stamps are different design? Yes. We need to grab some photos to put in here. Yes. I remember when we first had this idea, Galena sent me some inspirational photos and showing me there's even triangle stamps. I've never seen one in real life. Let's start with our original postage clutch die. This die was designed specially for A to size cards. It has six different stamps stacked together, and while you die cutting, you will have a full panel with six different size stamps. Also, you can use your scissors to separate all those stamps and use it for your own. You can mix and match them. You can cut off the bottom part and use your square postage collage. And I also like the different shapes nested inside this panel die, so you have more options to create your own collage. And with those small die cuts, you can create your own stamps by stamping inside of each of die cut, as well as you can use them separately or with your panel. What I love most about the postage clutch collection are the various stencils you can use with them. We have a big collection of stencils already and more to come. We've received many requests for more postage clutch stencils, and we want to share the roadmap of our release plans for this collection for the rest of the year. There will be more whimsical scenes, florals, and graphic sets. There will be also special sets for Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas, as well as other everyday theme sets. Let's start with the postage clutch coloring stencil. We recommend to decut your postage collage first and then Line up the stencil. The airmail border is outside the postage clutch panel so that you don't need to worry about any color spills over in those borders while you're stenciling the panel, which is perfect to me. You have a guideline that can help you to line up the die cut with your stencil perfectly. And with the stencil, you can color each of the stamp blocks of the panel. This stencil allows you to create a multicolored edge around your die cut. To be able to make it easy to have an airmail looking two colored border, we made the stencil set to be two layers. And the second layer is this fun whimsical pattern stencil you can layer on top of the base or just use them on their own. In this stencil, we have some stars, butterflies, circles, lines, and cute little hearts. Next up is a postage clutch everyday stencil. It's another fun stencil that you can use with your postage collage die cut, and also you can mix and match it with your coloring stencil. The coloring stencil is the base for almost any other stencils we have. Is this postage collage evidence stencil the first stencil you have? Yes, it's a, our first stencil in this collection because I want to add a little scenes on my card. I like how classic these images are for everyday use. Also, when I was looking through uh, my husband's collection, there are a lot of mini scenes on those postage collages. That's why I came with the idea to create my own mini scenes on my cards. And I also like that how easy it is to just pick your colors for each square on each stencil. It turned out to be such a colorful card. I really like that. Yeah, and if you're struggling with picking colors, just visit our website when where I share all my color combos for postage collages. I know, so now we started doing project cards with Galina's projects because her color choices are just amazing. But 
I've never had a single card I don't like that was made from these stencils. Actually, there was a lot of going back and forth about these stencils, and we tried different things. So if we decide uh, to change the whole design, I cut out my samples that I can still use. These are the <laughs> samples that was kept from uh, previous designs for months that we were developing the first three stencils. And I had a lot of fun and we learned a lot. And let's talk about the postage clutch Christmas stencil. We released the stencil last year for Christmas in July release. The postage clutch stencils become a summary or a sampler of what we have in the release as a collection. You'll see a similar pattern from here in a completely separate background stencil. And then the reindeer is available as a die and the tree is available as a foil play, and we have even more in the folk art frame collection. And those products can help you create a matching deck or maybe a wrapping paper for your card. A lot of our stencils were designed to use the last layer for your mediums. For example, this glitter paste or maybe any other texture paste you may have in your stash to add shiny details on your card. On top of all that, we also have the postage clutch stamp set to help you add even more detail to your finished project. Why not to create even more realistic postage collage card? With this stamp, you can create your own small stamps and you can stamp over your die cut. And here are some samples to show you this stamp in action. After the successful release of the postage clutch coloring stencil, everyday stencil, Christmas stencil, then we get to the season where we celebrate fall. And we have our postage clutch, fall stencil, and stamp set. It's my next favorite season after the Christmas, and I love to create warm fall cards for my friends. That's why I created some fall little scenes for my card. We have a lot of cute fall icons on our stencil. I like the pie. <laughs> I like the leaves because you can use all your favorite warm ink colors on it. And in the postage clutch for stencil, we added something new. In this stencil, you can find a small sentiment that you can add on your fall cards. Hey there. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we also have something different on the postage for stamp set. We have a lot of small details that you can add on your pumpkins. The steam for the pie and eyes for ladybug. If you use a stencil, you can stencil in the eye. Yeah, or use ink with your stamp. It's hard to have a black stencil. They're always lighter than what I like, and I prefer uh, details in black to be stamped. And also with stamps, you can get crisp, small details. So the stamp set and the stencil goes really well together. You're right. Then we did something really different for Valentine's Day. We thought it would be fun to have just flowers for an elegant look. And the first flowers that came on my mind, of course, roses. And this time we have three layered stencil, as well as small sentiment in the center of one of the blocks. And I like how all the sparkles are grouped together on the last layer, so I can use glitter paste all over it. But don't forget clean up your stencil right away. Or he'll be very hard to remove. You have a tray of full of water and then you just put it in. Yes. And then that's not like clean right away. You can put it in a tray, wash it by your hand, like but just right away. No, <laughs> uh, it was designed by because okay. of that. Oh, uh, so you can wash it right away. Mm -hmm. I got it. Okay, very cool. Our design team did amazing job. Let's see some samples.
Next one up in the line is the Postage Cloud's Lucky Stencil. This stencil is one of the stencils that will be so much easier if you have the basic coloring stencil that you can use as the background. You can use your coloring stencil to color all of the blocks and create a fun background. But don't forget to use only light inks. Why is the light ink important? To not mix the colors. For example, if you're using blue color underneath and then you want yellow flower, it won't be yellow, it will be green. Yeah. That's why you need to use only light shades of blue. When you layer the ink, especially when it's dye ink, whatever color is underneath will go through the color on top. So the color changes. And if you use lighter color ink and only do the edges of the background, you'll give you the best results. And let's see some design team samples. All of those above was stencils designed for the original postage clutch die. We realized a lot of you were just using it to create your own mini scene with stamps and stencils you already have. We love that and we want to provide the same option for people who made different size cards. Yes, that's why we have postage clutch die besides the original for A2. We now have A6, A7, Slimline, and Mini Slimline. Which my favorite. Yeah, and all of those dies has the blocks stencil, which is the first layer of the coloring stencil we have for all of these different sizes. These are the ones you use as masks and as backgrounds. Also, you can separate those die cuts as well to create even more collages with your dies. I like how Galina has made rectangles or different. So even if you already have one die, the other die will give you even more options but you will get just a little bit different shapes of your stamps. And by popular demand, we're going to have the same block stencil for the original A2 size postage clutch die as well. So it'll be a one layer stencil, but does the masking and backgrounds. So it will be much easier to create backgrounds on your die cut. Thank you so much for your support and all your kind comments about Postage Clutch Collection. It's truly a masterpiece. We also really like to see all your card samples you shared with us. Please keep going. Use hashtag PostageClutchWFC on Instagram for more inspiration. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye.